So here's a question for you. Which mic am I using right now to record the audio that you're hearing? Am I using the XLR mic here from Aver Media, or am I using a brand new microphone that's sitting on my desk and sounds crystal clear, and you probably didn't even know that I was using a different mic that's also a USB mic? What mic am I talking about? None other than the Neat Mics Skyline microphone. It's right here. Let's get into it. This wasn't written with your comfort in mind. Nah. Made my decision, wasn't tough to decide. Nah. Me and my boys, we get it done every time. <laughs> Gotta earn it, you can't just jump in the line. You'll get rushed to the side. I, I, I top my division, I've been building since I started. In the parking lot, I parked it. I came in while picking targets. My career cannot be tarnished. I'm a champion regardless. Celebrate, but this is a different kind of lucha party. We are not alike. Before we kick this video off, I'm gonna give a huge shout out and thank you to Neat Mics for sending over this mic for review. I've been pounding away at doing several tests with this because I really wanted to see how that microphone stacked up against this XLR mic. And honestly, with the exception of this one having, you know, a little bit better bass and clarity and, and presence, the Neat Mic Skyline is actually really, really good. Like this, this whole thing right here is being recorded using just this microphone by itself. And it's amazing how good it is, how crisp and vibrant it is, how much noise rejection there is, how much it doesn't really pick up on a lot of sensitivity around this environment, which goes into the noise rejection part. But it's just really good. And you guys know I've reviewed so many different microphones in this channel. And a lot of USB microphones usually come up short. And I'm just really surprised that this one right here, quite honestly, if you're streaming, if you're a streamer, I highly recommend this mic if you're looking for a USB mic. Like I know there's like the Blue Yeti, I know there's the Blue Snowball, and then all these other USB microphones, you know, HyperX has a whole bunch. But honestly, if you guys looked at any of my streams where I'm streaming Call of Duty Vanguard, this is the microphone that I'm using. Yes, this microphone right here is the one that I'm using on those streams. And a lot of people were like telling me, man, you sounding so clear. Like, yo, where's your mic? I don't see it on screen. Like, typically you would see me have my XLR, but I didn't have it on screen. So in this video, we're going to do an unboxing, a setup. I'm going to go through how this mic sounds. I'm going to do sound tests, you know, for really everything, as well as for plosives, because plosives are very important. You're going to wonder, hey, do you need to put a windscreen on top of this or not? And honestly, no, spoiler alert, no, you don't. But uh, before we get into all that, I'm Mikhail Castanova, Hawaii content creator, host of Hawaii's number one podcast, the Castanova podcast. I stream every single week on twitch.tv slash Mikhail Castanova, as well as youtube.com slash Mikhail Castanova. So catch me over there every Friday and Saturday night. But all that being out of the way, if you want to pick up this mic, I will have an affiliate link down below. Also, if you want to pick up some merch or you want to support the channel, we got Teespring and TeePublic. We also got channel memberships as well as Patreon as well. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and dive into this review of the Neat Mics Skyline. Okay, so here we are with the Skyline conferencing USB mic from Neat Mics. Shout out to them for sending this over for the unboxing review. So we're going to check this out. It's a conferencing USB mic, uh, ideal, I think it stays right here. It's ideal for conferencing, streaming, podcast production, content creating, working from home, and uh, high resolution, 24-bit, 96 kilohertz audio for Mac or PC, uh, uses USB Type-C to Type-A cable. So uh, we're going to test it out. You know how we do when we do our microphone tests. We test to see everything. How does it sound? You know, pickup patterns and the like. So definitely... Uh, strap in for that. All right, so let's go ahead and get it on out. And we, this is the quick start guy. So this comes in two different colors, black and white. White's pretty dope. Black's cool too. Type C to type A cable, as you can see here. And we are left with the mic itself. Now, honestly, this is a lot smaller than you know the the box itself makes this look a lot bigger than what it is it's a very thin very small so i need to check out what the uh, pickup patterns on this 
So you've got the mute button right here. And then you've got your inputs here in the back, so it's USB type C. And then that's it. It's just one slab of text. So you just literally set it like that. And that's it. All right. Um, let's look at the guide. I want to know what the pickup pattern is. Uh, so I'm assuming this is cardioid. Okay. All right. So we're going to plug it in, test it out, do some voice samples, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so we're going to do a couple of tests with this to see basically, you know, where the sound comes from. I believe this is going to be cardioid, so it's going to be basically front facing. But given that this is a conferencing mic, it looks like it picks up universally. So we're going to test it from multiple angles. So this is what it sounds like when it's facing me directly on. This is what it sounds like when it's facing me off to the side, to its left side. This is what it sounds like when it's facing me on its right side. This is what it, you know, judge from there. And then this is what it sounds like from the back. And just to be certain, this is what it sounds like when it is facing me from overhead. Now, there's a little button here that you'll be able to see. And you can press it. It's kind of like a um, silicone type of material. So you can press it and you'll mute. And when you press it, it turns red. And then when you press it again, it you know, unmutes itself. You can see the neat logo. This is pretty, pretty neat overall, you know, neat mics, neat logo. But we're gonna press it, you know, we're setting it here on the desk. And what I wanna do is, you know, if I'm streaming, because I've got a mic, I have this mic here. And this is usually what I use for my recording my streaming and whatnot. But if I can just set this on my desk when I'm streaming and it, you know, be good for like, you know, streaming, conferencing, podcasting, I'm fully willing to just hop over and just use this as an alternative because what's awkward for me. So like if I'm facing here, this is where my camera is. This is where my XLR mic is. This is the monitor I use when I stream. So when I'm streaming, I'm at an awkward angle because I have to turn just so the mic picks up on me. Whereas if I'm sitting, if this is sitting directly in front of me, then that completely eliminates that issue whatsoever. Only thing is I can't mount it and um, I'm worried about, you know, uh, reverb or, you know, shocks because I don't know if it has shock mount built into it, but we'll do a test where I'll be talking and I'll start tapping the desk that way we can see how it sounds overall. So this is if I'm streaming, right? So I'm facing this way and I'm um, talking. And as I'm talking, I'm typing on the desk. And then, you know, hopefully it's not picking up any additional noise. It might pick up a little bit, but let's go and see what does it sound like if I'm typing. So as I'm typing, maybe it's minimalistically picking it up, but, you know, we'll see. But uh, yeah, stops, you know, doing different things, shaking in the room. Those are all things that you really want to know when you're utilizing a mic. And thus far, it did pick up some stuff. I'm very certain of that, but I'll let you guys be the judge of it. You guys let me know. So this is what it sounds like when I'm using my XLR mic. I have the Aver Media Live Streamer chat microphone, and I want you guys to be able to hear what this sounds like in comparison to me utilizing the Skyline USB mic. And I want you to know the difference between what an XLR mic sounds like versus a USB mic. Now, the point we're getting at now when it comes to sound and mic quality between USB and XLR is cutting down. XLR is still overall better, um, be it either using a condenser or a dynamic mic. Usually, if you've got a curated room, I would say go with the condenser mic because it picks up on your voice a lot better. Uh, typically, if you're 
not in a curated room and you want to have some noise rejection, you want to go with a dynamic mic. But this is what this sounds like in comparison to the neat mic skyline. And as I'm typing, you probably can't hear the typing. As I'm tapping the desk, you probably can't hear that either. But that is what it sounds like overall. And I hope um, this was helpful in some ways. Okay, so one of the things I really wanted to do with this is I wanted to test the plosives. So this is what it sounds like. It's directly facing me, which is where the recording typically, this is a cardioid mic. So it's picking up primarily from the front and it does pick up from the sides and the back and the top, but it has more of a sound rejection. So we want to test the plosive. So Peter picked the pineapples, pineapples, pick the pineapples. I don't know. I just got I need to say things with P. So Peter, here we go. Peter picked pineapples pointing purposefully past. So I don't know. There's your plosive test. You let me know what you think. So one of the things I really want to talk about is the build quality of this mic. This is such a very thin and light USB microphone. Like literally, I, it, it's so unobtrusive. Like you're so used to other mics that have that, you know, that broadcast or that, that streamer look to them. Whereas this is just something that you could utilize this whether you're in the office or or if you're streaming or if you're recording a podcast, like I've actually recorded a couple of podcasts using this mic. And with it having like shadow strike, I think that's really going to be something that's uh, is going to give it that that flow it needed. And I've also done a lot of streams. Like like I said, check out my Call of Duty Vanguard streams on YouTube and on Twitch. We definitely got to carry this. We got to carry everybody. Oh, there we go. I need that quickness. You're in the thick of it now. Yo, that was my kill. Did I get credit for it? Oh shit, someone shooting at me. It just sits there on my desk and I can sit comfortably and it picks up my voice. And it's the thing that just really blows me away. It's just like, I don't have to be directly up on it. Like I could be this distance and it's still catching my voice. I can be close up and it, you know, it catches it a lot better. It's a lot clearer, but I can sit from this distance here and I can just, like you see all the things I got in my background where I'm doing unboxings and whatnot, but I can sit here at a comfortable distance and literally talk to the camera. Like, you know, in most videos, a lot of people have their microphones in the shot and a lot of people dislike that. I'm personally one, if I can do without having the microphone in the shot, I kind of don't want it in there. And the fact that I can just sit this so far away from me and still be able to be comfortable to talk you know, use my headrest and everything, get comfortable in my muso chair and just talk. And it still picks it up and clearly. That's the thing that just, I, I need to, I'm emphasizing that for a reason because this is a game changer. Like I can imagine sitting in my living room with my wife and my daughter as my wife and I are recording a podcast and I can just use this microphone here and I don't have to worry about having to get up go around or do anything like that so yeah this thing is just it blows me away the other thing too you know and i know i spoke about this earlier about the mute functionality but it's literally a button as you can see here it's a button you just press this button and green when it's on and it just sits there now i know a lot of people now i know a lot of now, I know for some people, this might not do the job for them because, you know, maybe they want to utilize a boom arm or maybe they're concerned about shock weight, you know, because you want to use like shock mounts and whatnot with your boom arm. But this actually is sturdy enough to be able to reject a lot of the, you know, the shocks and vibrations on the desk. Like not everything to the extent like uh, having a traditional shock mount would. But it does a really, really good job with it, which is something I'm very, very, very impressed with. If this is a microphone that if I'm talking, I want this to really just sit there, blend into the background. And I don't, 
what, like the mic, the amplification of how it picks up your voice is really good. So you don't really need to like hold it close to you. You know, just speak normally. And that's why I love about it. And that's it. That's the review for the Neat Mics USB Skyline microphone. Again, shout out to Neat Mics for sending this over to me for review. I absolutely love this, and I think going forward for streaming. I'm going to be using this. I mean, I've got a couple other mics that I really like. I really like the Rocket Torch and all the functionality that that gives you. But I like the simplicity of just being able to set this on my desk and not have to worry about all the additional setup and needing an additional boom arm. And I can just stream and be comfortable. I can record podcasts and be comfortable. I can record videos put it right here, not have the microphone in the shot and be comfortable. You get what I'm talking about here? It's all about the comfortability and the Skyline mic from Neat Mics gives you just that. But what do you guys think? What do you think of this microphone from seeing this review or from personal usage if you have the microphone yourself? Or is it something you're considering picking up? Whatever your thoughts are, let's go ahead and get the conversation going in the comment section down below. And if you want to pick this up, I will have an affiliate link down in the description below. Outside of that, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you sub to the channel and ding the notification bell. That way you stay up to date on all the latest and greatest content that comes from this channel. As well as make sure you check out our merch over on Teespring and Teeplub if you want to support what we do here. And if you want to support further, we do have Patreon as well as channel memberships. All that being said, I'm Mikel Casanova signing out. I hope you guys have a great one. Deuce is wild. Too sweet. Be the elite. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Mahalo for making it to the end of the video. And if you found anything of importance or substance that you gained from watching this, make sure you leave a comment down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you sub to the channel and ding the notification bell. That way you stay up to date on all the content that you get from my channel, from podcasts, streams, reviews, impressions, reactions, and so much more. If you want to support what we do, we do have channel memberships. We've got Patreon. We've got Subscribestar as well well as coffee which i would love to be drinking some coffee right now which i am mm, that's some good coffee but anyway we got all of that and we also have merch on teespring and tea public so make sure you go check that out and all that being said i just hope to see you in the next video that i put out so hey see you around